Hi, this is Cindy Coots, and thank you so much for visiting us today at StopAndScrap.com. Um, you have a lot of really cool things coming up in the next few weeks, so stay on board and tell your friends. Today, um, I guess I'm into watering cans lately. We are going to make a, um, oh, how can I put this? A pinwheel garden. That's what it's going to be. And I've lost my voice a little bit. Every time I fly, um, you know, airplanes are kind of like flying petri tubes. And I always end up getting some kind of, I don't know, lose my voice, whatnot. But my kids really love it and can't wait till I fly again. So how I'm going to show you how to make pinwheels and there's a lot of different ways to make them. This way is just the easiest way for me and I'm going to be using the October afternoon 9 to 5. I love October afternoon. It, it's just it's been a favorite of mine since they very first came out. And um here's my 8 by 8 paper pack and they don't have the um well, I'm really close up. They don't have the goo or whatever on top of there to keep everything closed. It just comes in a package now. So you can flip through it and stick it back in there. And that to me is kind of neater a little bit because before I had to um, put just a plastic sheet to hold on my scraps and everything. So now I can just kind of shove it in there. So they have some very, I guess this is another haul a little bit real cool patterns in here. There's a good mixture of, um, you know, some funky stuff, some feminine stuff, masculine, flowers. I mean, I, I've been waiting to get this and I got it and I was just psyched. That is so cool. One thing when I was making this little flower garden is that I realized, oh boy, I forgot they're not double-sided. And when you're making a pinwheel, they isn't that great? They have to be double-sided. So, just a little booby there. Sorry. But, you know, you can always stamp the white part of it. Leave it alone. Spray it with something. It's not too much of a big deal. But what we're going to make is going to be great for a co-worker or something to put on your desk. Or you can even make flowers out of this. Um, I'm going to set this aside and show you what else that I got because I kind of got the whole thing. I got this great, there's two um, things of washi tape and this just has the days of the week on it. I thought, wow, this is, I mean, I'm having fun. Shut that aside. And this one goes with that one green pattern that we saw. And it just has like date, date, date. And you can write on this stuff too. So again, toss that aside. Has some really great tins. And I'm debating on whether or not to put these on one on the front of my watering can. So I'm gonna leave that out because I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have to look and see how it looks at the very end. But there's just some cool stuff. Now, um, They've been adding on to their um, product line of like 9 to 5 or, um, you know, Cherry Hill or something like that. And these are, they've always had the journaling cards. So these are the journaling cards for this. And, wow, that's cool. Nice typewriter. I mean, okay, this is going to be one of those... Um, things that I use up all the way, I can tell. Because you know when you get stuff and you don't quite use everything, this one is definitely going to be used. And then they have, this is new to me. Um, maybe they just changed the name of it, I don't know. But these are the doodads. Oh, well, I forgot I got 15 minutes, better hurry up. And there's just a lot of different cute... Is that one blank? Sayings in here. I didn't get the stamp set. I don't know why. Is that a cassette? Oh my gosh. I haven't seen one of those in, well, I'll be giving away my age. 
but it doesn't matter because I'm skipping my birthday this year, just to let you know. And this is the miscellany, and this has always been my favorite pack. There's, you know, you I'm not going to drag out the buttons, but you have the buttons in there, you have some ribbon, and you always have like this little strip with words on it. And should I do that with a ribbon? No. Because I have some of it done, again, for the sake of time. But I'm going to end up dragging out the buttons anyway. But there's just some really cool things in here. I'm not even quite sure what that is. Maybe that actually is before my time. It'll be something I Google. But, you know, tags. And this typewriter, I mean, look how realistic that's look, that is. I'm very impressed. Chipboard. can always use it. And just more... Oh, remember this in high school? Wow. I'm flashing back. Oh, you have got to get this. It is in the store, and it's available right now. I wonder if they got, like, a... a a key to this, what, you know, one, two, three, four is on the typewriter because I haven't, I mean, they're vintage now. So here's just some more cards. Oh my gosh, they do? Is that it? Oh no, it's a typewriter, type, or touch typewriting chart. This is awesome. This has a nice um, perforated there more thing so you can close it for a file folder. Tickets. And they honestly have like real typewriter names on here. Crossword puzzle. Oh, nothing on the back. Steno notebook. Anyone remember shorthand? Boss's pet peeves. Oh, check this out. Smokes at her desk. That's been illegal for how many times? Or how many years? Decades? Moody. So cross at times, she makes life disagreeable for everyone, including the boss. Oh, that is so politically incorrect. That's just a polite way of PMS. Swears. This should be the boss's privilege. You've got to get this. <laughs> this is great. Too emotional an attitude. Hair untidy. Bobby socks. Too much makeup. Oh my. Okay, what is your super secretary score? Maybe this will be two videos because I'm having too much fun here. Number one, you are well dressed. Appropriate dress, personal neatness. You are pleasant even-tempered, under strain, take criticism without resentment, sense of humor, control, moods, and temper. Uh-huh. You are a clam. Silence concerning business affairs. This is a must. Silence concerning personal troubles. Silence concerning office views and gossip. You are a screen. Relieve boss of details. This is so sexist. Successfully protect him from interruptions. Compose your letters you are qualified to handle. Oh, my gosh, I just bombed in my mouth. You are truly humble, pleasant toward associates and clients. Perform personal duties for boss cheerfully. Allow boss to take credit for your work. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just having too much fun. This rocks. You have a steel trap memory. Remember instructions, remember names and faces, remember routine details. Okay. You are quick on the trigger. Initiative in an emergency. Assemble data before your boss calls for it. Understand material dictated. Alert to prevent errors. You have telephone charm. Voice pleasant, tone clear. Telephone tapped. Obtain accurate information over the telephone. You know a guy did this. You are Johnny on the spot. There when boss wants you. On time consistently. I hope there's another side. Prompt and answering buzzer. Telephone. Work late cheerfully when necessary. <clears throat> You're loyal to your boss. P 
put his interests first. Are we in the 50s? Tactfully prevent difficulties. Speak of him always in terms of respect. And then you have a score down here. Oh, darn, there's nothing on the back. A hundred. You're a super secretary. Seventy-five. You're good, but not super. Fifty-five. Better than average. Forty. Lots of competition down here. Thirty-five. You'd better study. Guess what my score is. This is great. Get it? It's going to fly off the shelf especially after people see this. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, wow. That's unreal. I mean, this was totally 50s. Um, okay, tomorrow's going to be Friday because I'm doing this a little bit late. It's been a busy week, and plus I was out of town last week halfway across the country. Um, I'm turning 49 on Monday, so my birthday is getting skipped this year. But, um, I think that was even before my time. This is kind of, remember that TV show when we were kids? That girl, that's what this is. Oh, gosh, I gotta put it away. Or, no, what, no, what is it? Beverly Hillbillies, and what was that secretary's name? There was Mr. Drysdale and Miss... Oh my gosh, I wish I could remember her name. And there is a reason why she was a missus, because she was doing this. So, enough of my commentary. We're going to move on over to what I think is really cool. They have these, um, what could be considered a day book of sorts, and it's called Here and Now. And there's four rings in here, and I'm just going to pull this out. And, of course, you can decorate it up as you like. And on the inside, there is just some note paper to add stuff to and have some fun with. And um, then they have the Here and Now chapter. And this also goes in, this can go inside that um, Here and Now book. And you can see some examples on the back as far as what they have that you can put in. And the pages are double-sided, and they have dividers. Okay, a payphone. When's the last time anyone saw one of them? Have a dime. Okay. So we're just going to look at this real quick. Remember those? Writing in those. Now it's the iPhone. And having to fill in the calendar by hand. Ah! This is very cool. And you have two pages that go together here. They all coordinate real well. Okay, that sheet that I just read you, read you off, you can like tape that in the cons column. And this is neat too, it has like a postage stamp edge. I think this is definitely one of my um, favorite October afternoon collections to date after seeing this. I mean, this is wild. So we're going to get all this out of the way and maybe I'll actually start us on the project. And of course they have some really, really cool brads too. And if you open it up, they're like this. So they're, pr they're pretty sturdy and um, as you can see I've taken some of them out. For my pinwheel garden, I've already started it. And I'm going to move it over very, very gently because, like I said, it would be a great... Okay, it's just going to get trashed now, if you can see that. I'm going to zoom out real fast. There we go. And I'll take pictures, too. Um, and, the, you know, here's my watering can. I could have sworn I had just like a regular bucket in my stash, but I don't. So this was the next thing. Um... But I tied it in together by using this 
I have candy for all seasons, like for Christmas still from last year. And this is, I got this at Easter. It's actually edible grass and it's sour apple and it's pretty good. And underneath that, I put some Hershey's Kisses. So that's why this would be really cool to put on your desk or, you know, give it to a friend. But I thought that was neat. So to get started, I have three different size pinwheels in here. And after I finish it all, well, now I'll just do it now. I grabbed three um, dowels and I cut them down to different sizes using just a, a, a cutter with a, you have to get into your husband's toolbox, and staggered them that way so they would have different heights. And then I went ahead and got some acrylic paint and painted them all different colors. And I went from, from small to large, and I'm going to do the largest one for you because it'll be easier to see. This pinwheel here is two and a half inches. This one's two and three quarters. And this one here is three by three. And I've sort of kind of started a little bit, again, for the sake of time, but I pretty much blew it with my talking, so this is going to end up being two videos. And I think, just so I don't have to do a bunch of... Um, editing and cutting and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and stop right now and for part two we'll go ahead and start working on this pinwheel.